Thank you, Jan. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all, and I am absolutely delighted to be here. I congratulate His Excellency President Paul Kagame and uh, his team, and as well the World Bank in putting this conference together so well. To me, there is no more important topic than, than science and technology in Africa. And it's fantastic to be surrounded today but by such passion and expertise. For those of you who don't know, the Planet, Inst the Planet Earth Institute is a NGO working for our vision of the scientific independence of Africa. It's a provocative mission, and that is why we choose it, to get people talking about science in Africa. What does scientific independence mean? Well, for us, scientific independence means adding to dependency that we believe is causing such a drag on the continent's rise. Independence means having science, technology, and innovation embedded in our government policies, alongside properly resources and empowered institutions. Independence means the ability to produce and keep many more billion scientists on our continent. Ultimately, it means Africa's problems can be solved by African lead solutions. Alongside our projects, our main focus is campaigning for an African audit science agenda and to bring organizations together to collaborate on these issues. And that collaboration includes our own group that has often been missing over the years, the private sector. And that's why I'm especially delighted to be talking on this subject today. Having been involved in business and investment all my life, across the African continent and in many different industries. I see the huge importance science and technology plays in creating successful business. Just this morning, I got a call from a, a team. I'm now working with one, a new marina and port in Luanda as part of our continued transformation in Angola. My team, there are a mix of African and European engineers and architects. But every one of them with such incredible talent and skill. Technical skills like these are, like these, are very important to business in Africa, able to give returns to investors, governments, and societies alike. Only through a science and technology evolution in Africa, in Africa can we move from consumers to create knowledge. So I has there been such distance between the private sector and science and technology agenda in Africa? Well, in my opinion, it is not a confrontation or a convergence. In my view, it's more of a disconnect for too long, science and business were not operating in the same world in Africa. Now, I am here to defend business, but let's be honest. For decades in Africa, business, including my home, have been working to create opportunities on the continent, whether that was commodities, manufacturing, or services, the business race was one to make a product successful and quickly. Business operators for today and the meaning 
and the meaning find the skills wherever we could, when if they were expensive and international. At the same time, the last 20 years have been the academic and scientific communities in Africa, burned by cuts and challenges of their own. But things are changing, and technology is making more and more possible. Meetings like these prove the point with the private sector increasingly an equal partner. With the millions more Africans coming home to job market every year, it is crucial higher education and training it's at the front, it's at the front of development agenda. It was great to see the change of the last few years in Africa. There are no many business lead and sponsored academic programs in Africa. And when I meet vice chancellor of our partner universities in Angola, Mozambique, and Ghana, they always have new private sector partnership. And that is what we as a NGO are trying to strive for. More debates like this bringing a wide range of partners together and more joint ventures surrounded by policies that incentivize these movies. Take Angola, my home, an example. His Excellency President Santos has made the science and technology a priority. We are working to promote a number of public-private partnerships and towards scientific forums by leading figures and experts. In the last year, we have brought a number of scientific delegations from Latin America, Asia, and Europe to Angola to help support this international collaboration, and the business has been a very important part of that. Our PhD center model, now, uh, now active in Angola and Mozambique, is de developed to bring about an equal, equal partnership between local private, private business and the university hosts. Any student in our centers benefits from both an academic supervisor and also a private sector mentor. So I am confident that the mindsets are changing and that business and science are now converging much more. We must really embed, really embed this partnership alongside other valuable, valuable organization and NGOs just as the global scientific powerhouses have done. I look forward to our discussion today and hope to work with many of you in future helping bring business and science together for Africans' long-term and sustainable success. Thank you.